Hey, what's going on guys? Neil here from Links Digital. And in today's video, I'm gonna be breaking down how to set up your TikTok business center. Now, you might be thinking, why do I even need a TikTok business center? Well, the most common answer for that is to hold and host different TikTok ad accounts. Now, you can also use the TikTok business center to do a variety of other things, including assigning certain people certain permissions within your business, like assigning them certain business assets, like your other TikTok profiles, or even your TikTok ad account pixels. So it's a very handy tool to organize your entire organization's workflow and permissions all in one central hub. But like I said, the most important thing is to be able to manage other TikTok ad accounts within the business center. Now, the main thing that I mentioned was the ability to use different uh, TikTok ad accounts under one umbrella. And why might you wanna do this? Well, if you are a business with multiple offers or a brand with multiple offers, what I highly recommend is that you use a different ad account for every single offer, even under the same business. And the reason for this is one, you don't wanna mix up the data between the offers, especially if they are very different offers. So let's say you are running a low ticket item and a high ticket item. Well, the types of advertising campaigns that you're going to be running for both those offers are going to be completely different. And that means that the data that's coming into your pixels is also going to be very different. And you don't necessarily want to mix that up. Now, the second thing, and frankly, this is the most important thing is when you are using multiple ad accounts, what you are doing is risk mitigating. Um, basically, if one of your offers does trigger a ban from TikTok, at least your entire business center won't go down. You will still have access to several of your ad accounts. You can still run things. The rest of your business won't be affected if you are using a business center. We have also found that uh, accounts under a business center do get a little bit more leeway when it comes to ad policy and getting accounts reinstated. So another great reason to get this accounts business center set up from the beginning. Now, don't worry if you already have set up a TikTok ads account and don't have a business center yet, I will also be showing you how to link the two. So let's jump into my computer and I will show you guys exactly how to break that down. Alrighty, now that we are on my computer, what you are going to want to do is go to business.tiktok.com and then you will be taken to a page that resembles this. And all you're going to do is come here and click the create new button and you'll be on your way to create a new business center. Now, what I recommend is that you create a brand new business center that is not linked to an existing TikTok account for the reasons that I mentioned earlier. So I'm just gonna go ahead, put in my email and verify it. We have to do this little uh, confirmation thingy and get the code from our email. So I'll go ahead and do that. Hey guys, before we continue with the video, I quickly do wanna take a second to talk about today's video sponsor, which is me. <laughs> More specifically, the TikTok ads masterclass that I put together. Now, a lot of you already know this, but TikTok ads are the hottest thing in advertising right now. And rightfully so. I would kind of compare them to say Facebook ads in 2015, 2016 they're that good. So I put together this masterclass, which is designed to bring anyone up to speed and set them up for success with TikTok ads. And right now you can take advantage of our special introductory launch pricing and get the masterclass at a massive discount. If you are interested, check the link in the description below. And with that, let's jump back into the video. And all I'm going to need to do is once I have my verification code, just come in and agree to the terms and services and I am good to go there. And boom, now you will be able to name your TikTok business center. So we can make this a test uh, business center. Now we will need to name our business center something unique. Um, and I can just pick an Eastern. Next up, you are going to need to pick a couple of things. So first thing um, I highly recommend that you do is pick I am an agency. Again, this allows you a little bit more flexibility and freedom down the line should you choose to use it. And it allows your account to be added to other business centers. Again, this is just if it's there, use this option. And after that, you just need to put in your billing information, including a billing address and picking your currency. Now make sure that the currency that you pick is the exact same that your payment method is. Once you put in your billing information, what you need to do is if you have the option here is select between manual and automatic payment. Right now, I don't have that option because I haven't added a card. Once I do that, I will have the option to select between automatic or manual payment. Now, the difference is with manual payment, you have to basically prepay for the ad spend, whereas like automatically bills you once you reach a threshold. As an advertiser, however, you always wanna be doing automatic payments. The reason for this is just in case you forget to fill up your account balance, you know, your ads will continue to keep running. 
uh, there will never be a gap inside of your payments so that your ads are always going to be functioning as they should be. The second big thing is when you do do manual payments and let's say you prepay say $500 worth and your ad account gets banned and you've only spent let's say $100, well then in those unfortunate cases, TikTok actually ends up keeping the rest of your balance. This is a pretty terrible feature when it comes to TikTok ads and account bans. You can fight to try and get your money back, but from our experience, it hasn't been the most easiest of processes. So if you can avoid it, I highly recommend going with the automatic payment route. And then you just put in your contact email and you are good to go. Now, once you have that done, you are going to go into the advertiser accounts and if you have a existing advertiser account, this is exactly where you're going to request access and you are going to come in with a admin level permission and just put in your advertiser amount and request access if you already have one. However, for us, we are setting up things from scratch. So we will go ahead and create a brand new one here. And again, this is going to be testing Add. And then you're basically just going to fill in a lot of the same things as you did before and put in your company website, your company name, as well as the industry that you service. And then you are going to have to do is verify it. In our case, a lot of this information is carried over from the business center. And once we confirm to TikTok's terms of services, we can essentially submit and create a brand new ad account. It really is that simple, guys. And now you have your TikTok ads account inside your business center. Now, some of the additional things that you can do in here is assign new members, like I mentioned. So if you have multiple people on your team working on this ad account, this is where you invite them here. If you want to add additional ad accounts, this is right here is where you go to do that. So you can also share audiences and pixels when it comes to your business center. So it's a pretty robust dashboard that allows you to do a lot. And with that guys, I will see you in the next video.